I swear my male lady hates me. <laughs> oh gosh, man. What's going on, black and red crew? And all that is new. I'm here to welcome you. I don't know where I'm going with this. Anyways, guys, yesterday we got a new package in from Fan Home slash Diagostini. Here it is, right here. I swear my male lady hates me. <laughs> oh gosh, man. I hope everything's all right in here. Anyways, this is the Fan Home Michael Bay version Optimus Prime. This is pack 11, stages 39 through 42. So if you're interested in building the Michael Bay Optimus Prime, it's pretty badass, I gotta say. Uh, so far, I'm really loving it. So detailed, it, it's 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 crazy. Anyways, if you're interested in building it, I will leave a link in the description down below. But without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and get up top and get this thing open. All right, guys, here we go. Uh, it's kind of, it's almost smashed open, but let's go ahead and crack it open and see what we got inside. All right, let's go ahead and see what we have in there. Okay, go ahead and grab the parts out. We're gonna be continuing working on the torso, it looks like. Oh, we got some stickers? I don't know about that. What's that? Oh, we got, oh, okay, yep, there's the keychain. We'll look at that later. And we'll get our magazines out. Looks like the box is empty, so let's uh let's go ahead and get rid of that thing. Oh. Sorry about that. Sorry. We're just gonna leave that be and uh go ahead and continue on with the video. All right, guys, here is all four issues of the magazine. Let's go ahead and get started with issue. 39. Okay, here's issue 39. Let's get into it real quick here. We're just going to cruise through real fast. And we'll uh, get to our building parts, which are right about here. And yep, we are continuing on with the torso here. Yeah, I don't know about uh, stickers. Is this really stickers? Are we really putting stickers on this fan home? These aren't printed pieces. I'll, I'll, I'll have to get further into it. I haven't really read what these are yet. So uh, yeah, decal. These are decals. Uh, I would expect more for a model of this price uh, than the, this is the first big letdown for me right here. I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, this model has been pretty incredible, but putting stickers on a model of this price to me, uh, is a little bit unacceptable. These should be absolutely printed on the parts. But uh, I digress. We'll continue on. Maybe I'll change my mind later, but we'll, we'll see. Anyways, here's all of our parts here that we're going to be doing. And uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I remember seeing these blue pieces on the back on their pictures of the model, and they have a flame going down them, but on the ones that we have, they don't. I think this is a, a mess up that they did and they made all these pieces and they didn't put the flame on it. And so they went back and printed decals to go on instead of correcting the issue and putting actual parts that are with the painted pieces on it. This is a huge letdown for me right here. I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, Fan Home, I'm very disappointed in this. I'm extremely disappointed in this. This is a two expensive of a model to be including decals on it that can fade and come off down the road uh, to me this is a, a, a no bueno this is a no-go but anyways it is what it is so let's go ahead and continue on i've said my piece about it uh i i might say more pieces about it but let's go ahead and move on anyways when we get done uh with this pack we're gonna have these pieces here and uh the decals put on all right let's go ahead and get started All right, we're going to start with part B and part C here, and we got uh, two IP screws. We're going to slide over. 
And we're gonna be putting part C on part B, of course. We're gonna go this way around like this, and uh, we're gonna just slide these two pegs into these two holes, just like that. Fits like a glove. And then we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna screw that in from the bottom here with those two IP screws. All right, I'm gonna grab the Fantic screwdriver here, available uh, in a link down below. This is the Fantic E1 Max. Fantastic screwdriver, I highly suggest it. But uh, let's go ahead and keep moving. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get our first screw put in. Flip it around this way. There we go, we got one in, let's go ahead and put in the other. All right, that's both screws in there. It's gonna look just like that. We're gonna bring over part D and we're gonna put that on with two more of the IP screws. And that's gonna go on just like the other side, just on the opposite side, just like that. And we're gonna go ahead and screw that in. Yeah, there we go, guys. There's both of them on there. Look like antennae. Take me to your leader. All right, I went and got some uh, water here to put the decals in. I don't like bringing water to my work area. I just, you know, not this work area where I record. I just don't like doing it. But here we are. Got a paintbrush here to uh, help maneuver the decal. Uh, fresh out of paper towels, which is fantastic. Uh, I do have a little microfiber cloth here I'm gonna use. And um, yeah, it was fantastic that you guys had us put all this on first before we put the decals on. This would have been easier to do before we put these on. And we've had these since the beginning. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and correct y'all's mistake because you didn't print these properly like you did the rest of the model. Uh, hopefully the rest of the model. We still got a lot to come. But so far, all the flames have been printed on. So this is 100% a screw up and uh, we're fixing it. So let me go ahead and get this going. I'm sorry to rant about it. I just, it's just that these models are so pricey for me and for you guys out there that uh, they screwed up. They didn't print this piece and now we're fixing it. And then they did, they, they had us put it on the model first, so it's gonna be even harder to do. So uh, let's go ahead and get going. See if I can use this razor knife to cut this out, or not to cut the decal. Or I should just grab some scissors. Yeah, let me grab some scissors. All right, somebody borrowed my scissors. I can't find them. Found these old kitchen scissors. I'm gonna see how good they work, I don't know. All right, guys, you wanna just cut these. Uh, you wanna leave uh, some on there for it to slide on, like that. All right, we're gonna dip this in the water for about a minute here. A pair of tweezers here. Uh, dip it in there and let that sit for about a minute. All right, guys, it's been in here for about a minute. Let's go ahead and get it out. We'll see if this is good. All right, we wanna put this on here. I'm gonna use the, the back side of the brush. Slide it off. Coming up all the way to the edge over here. Looks pretty good. Let's see how we are. No, I'm gonna have to maneuver this around a little bit. You don't want it to wrinkle. You want it to stay inside this box here and come right down close to the edge here, the end. But stay inside uh, the kind of box outline here. As long as it stays wet, you can slide it around. That's for C set. C set. <laughs> And I think that's pretty good right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my cloth here and just press down. I'm gonna kind of bend, there's a little bit extra on the top. That can be trimmed off later if you want. Just keep kind of pushing on it with your paper towel or cloth, whatever you have. You wanna get it nice and dry and get it firmly pushed down. Make sure there's no bubbles in it. All right, gonna look like that. And we have ourselves a decal that should have been printed on this piece. It's just a little overhang on the back, which I'll trim once this thing, once it's fully dried, I'll trim that off. Uh, Cause it don't seem to want to wrap around. All right, let's go ahead and do the other side. All right, it's gonna look like that. All right guys, that's the end of stage 39. Let's go ahead and move on to stage 40. All right, guys, here's stage 40. Let's go ahead and get a look inside of that. I'm just gonna peruse through again really quick. Get right back to the uh, back side here. Back to the meats and potatoes of it. 
Let me know, guys. Do you guys like looking at the magazine, or would you rather just get right to the build? I'm just just curious. But anyways, here we go with the torso. We got more torso pieces here. Looks like we have another uh, circuit board. And we're going to be putting that together in that piece from the last part and uh, hooking it on. When we get done, we're going to have this done and this, this section here. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, we're going to start with C and D here. We have our circuit board and our uh, wire. Yeah, and we're going to plug one end of the cable into the circuit board here, and it's going to go into socket B. And as you can see here, the sockets all have a, they're all lettered. And we're going into uh, B right over here. Go ahead and get that put in. Just make sure you got it the right way around. Just look in there and you can see the pins are set off to one side and the holes are set off to one side. So just line it up that way and you will always be right. And just push it right on in. Just like that. Make sure these are seated all the way down, guys. You don't want to have this all built and I find out you have a loose wire. So just click them all the way down in there. Make sure you're nice and snug and you'll be okay. All right, we're bringing out 39A from uh, issue 39, of course, and we're gonna be putting this inside there. Uh, we got two pegs down in there with holes in them on either corner here and here, and that's where these holes on the circuit board are gonna sit. I'm just gonna sit it down in there and line them up like that, and then we're gonna screw that in on either side with uh, two IP screws. All right, let's see if we can get a shot down in there. There's the hole for the screw right down there, and we're gonna go ahead and get one of them screwed in here. All right, now we're gonna move over to the other side, and we're gonna get that one put in. All right, it's gonna look just like that. Now what we wanna do is take this cable, and we're gonna run it out through this back hole up here. Just put it down in there and run it right through that hole, just like that, and pull it out right through the back, like that. All right, we're gonna bring the body back over now, and uh, we're gonna be sandwiching those two pieces we just did on our, our pivoting top of the torso here. And the part with the circuit board goes on the back here, where we just put the blue, the, the uh, decals on the blue pieces. It's gonna go right through these holes on here, like that. All right, then we're going to take this piece here that we did in the last issue, and it's going to go on the bottom this way with these two pieces on the bottom. And we're going to slide it right over and sandwich that together just like that. And then we're going to screw it together through these two holes here and here. I'm going to spin it around this way because I don't want to put these decals down uh, and scratch them off. Anyways, we're going to screw this down on here, here, and here with two XP screws. All right, let's go ahead and get those in. And I forgot to charge my screwdriver. I've, I've used it on like three builds now without charging it. It's still going, but it could definitely need to be charged. There we go, just like that, guys. And that is secured on there. It's gonna make it a little more difficult, I'm gonna tell you now, to get to those bottom plugs down there. And also, we can't see the letters anymore. The letters are underneath plug so you know well i mean we still have the reference picture to go by and hopefully it's correct but yeah it's gonna be a little difficult to get to those in the, and down there we'll probably have to use some tweezers to get them in and push them down in but anyways let's move on all right guys we got 40a and 40b that's these two blue pieces right here and they have no flames on them so hopefully we're not going to put decals on them later but uh, let's go ahead and get these put on all right we got 40a first and they're going to click on uh, to these uh, ball sockets right here that are by the lights. And it shows this piece here facing downwards. Let's see how this is going to go on. There we go. This whole piece is movable. Uh, so it, it goes on pretty, pretty nice. There we are on that one. And let's go ahead and get the other side on. All right. And they show it looking something like that when it's done. Pretty nice, I like that. All right guys, and before we move on, we were actually supposed to put the two FM screws on the back side. We put the other screws on this side. We're supposed to put the two FM screws on this side. So let's go ahead and get those put in real quick uh, before we forget that. All right guys, we got those put in. I definitely need to charge my screwdriver, but that is the end of stage 40. Let's go ahead and move on to stage 41.
All right, guys, here's stage 41. Let's go ahead and flip through that magazine real quick. Okay, here are our pieces. We are starting the left shoulder. We're uh, moving on to another part. That's pretty cool. And uh, this is the assembly over here. And when we get done, we should have uh, the outer side and inner side here of the shoulder. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so we got part A here, which is nice. It's a nice piece of metal again. We've been working with a lot of plastic lately. And then we've got two 41Gs here and here, and, and the one 41H, and the difference uh, is the 41H is a little bit thinner. They look almost identical, but the 41H is just slightly, very slightly thinner than 41G. Uh, you can tell a little more when they're sitting on the table. So we're going to put these uh, pieces into the holes here, here, and on this side. Now the 41H, which is that slightly flatter one, is going to go up here in this top hole. So we're going to go ahead and get that pushed in. Just push it in, snaps right in just like that. Okay, and then we're going to put 41G on the two bottom holes uh, here and here. So let's get those put in. There's one. Get the other one in. There we are, just like that. Sorry if you can hear the lawnmower. They just started mowing the neighbor's yard, so. Of course, while I'm filming, but it's gotta be done. All right, we got uh, part B here, and part D, that's this piece here. We're gonna put part D onto part B, and it's gonna go into this hole right here. And now this has got the uh, half circle here on the pin, so it's only gonna go in one direction. Just line it up and get that pushed in. There we go. It's going to look like that. So it kind of mimics this piece that's uh, molded in. All right, now we have uh, 41F here, and we're going to be putting that into the metal piece uh, left shoulder. And once again, it's got a half circle shape, so it's only going to go in one direction. Put it in just like that. Now we're going to be attaching uh, the two pieces together that we're just working on. I'm going to flip this one around to the back side here and this one around to the back side. And we have two pegs here and two holes here. And it's just going to line right up in that and slide right in just like that. And then we're going to screw that in here and here with the two CP screws. Let's go ahead and get this screwed in. It's going into metal. I should have put a little oil on there, but I ha I'm not going to. All right, guys, it's going to look just like that. Nice. All right, now we got part 41C here and 41E. It's another one of these pins, and we're going to be putting this on with this pin so this can pivot. All right, we're going to take this this way around. This is the back side again, and this piece is going to go on this way, right over this, like that, and then we're going to push the pin through. Uh, smooth side first. Uh, the pen has a smooth side and a rough side. We're going to put the smooth side in first, like that. And now you can use a little hammer or something to tap that down in there, but I'm going to just grab a small set of pliers on here and just get them on there and just push that in. Just like that. So this is the front side like this, and this is the back side like this. All right, guys, that's the end of stage 41. Let's go ahead and move on to stage 42. All right, here is stage 42. Go ahead and get a look through it real quick. Just peruse. We're just going to peruse right on through till we get to our build parts. Oh, this is so awesome, man. Okay, let's keep perusing. Ah, oh, the memories. All right, here's our parts here, still working on that shoulder. Uh, and we'll be putting these together on the shoulder. And when we get done, it's not gonna look much different probably, uh, but it's gonna be just like this. And again, that's this part here of the left shoulder where it's gonna be connecting to the arm. 
All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, we're going to bring our piece that we just did in stage 41 back out and turn it over this way. Whoop, let's go this way. <laughs> and we're going to take 42B, which is this lovely piece right here. And we're going to set these over these pegs here. It's only going to go on one way because of the shape of them. So just line it up and put it right over the top, just like that. And then we're going to screw that down with three of the FM screws. We're going to put a little bloop of oil on these. There's one, two, and three. All right, put this back over the top again, and we're going to go ahead and screw that down. All right, guys, it's going to look just like that. And okay, now we have 42A. That's this piece here that's got this little round piece sticking off of it. And we're going to be putting that one over the top of the piece that we just put in. And again, it's only going to go on one way because of the shape here of the triangle they're forming. Get that put on. There we go, just like that. And we're going to go ahead and screw that in with three KT screws. Let's go ahead and through these, uh, not through these holes, but through these shallow holes down here, right here. All right, guys, gonna look just like that. Starting to get much thicker here, forming a shoulder, really. Nice. Yeah, we got 42C now and 42D, this metal pin. We're gonna take 42C this way, and uh, the metal pin is going to slot right down in here, like that, and it should push all the way down. Might be a little tough, but it'll go all the way in until that's flush and then it's sticking out the side, just like that. All right, now we're gonna take that this way, and it's gonna fit, this is gonna fit right down into here, and again, uh, it's really only gonna go in one way. So uh, slide that over the top of the piece we already put together, push it down on there nice and tight like that, and then we're gonna secure that in here with three more of those KP screws. We'll just do that here from the top down. All right, and there we go. It'll look just like that. We have that metal pin sticking out here that's gonna be connecting on. And uh, yeah, that is uh, the left shoulder coming right along. Looking pretty good. Like this metal piece in here. Uh, looks fantastic. All right, guys, that is the end of issue 42 and the end of shipment 11. So let's go ahead and get back to the main camera. We're done. All right, guys, that is the end of pack 11, like I said, box 11. So uh, let's go ahead and show you what we did get done in this pack. We've got uh, these two pieces here put on. We put decals, and you already know how I feel about that. We put decals here and here. They look okay. Would much rather be painted on. Uh, we shouldn't have had to have done that on a, a model of this of this uh, this cost. A model of this that's supposed to be of high quality. Their QC. Um, I, I'm going to talk about it a little bit in my next build, my next RoboCop build. If you're following along with my RoboCop build, you will see I'm having quite a bit of quality control issues in that build. Uh, I'll leave a link to uh, my last video right up here. And uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll uh, if you want to check that one out, a lot of quality control issues. Uh, this one I haven't really had any in, except, you know, I know for a fact that these pieces right here were supposed to be pre-printed because everything else is pre-printed. Why would they leave those unprinted? So instead of redoing them the right way, they just shipped all those pieces out a long time ago. We've had those for a while. I'm talking a long time. And instead of reprinting those, they just shipped those out and then just made these little uh, water decals that we had to put on them, uh, which I, I think is ridiculous. They shouldn't have done that. But it, don't get me wrong. I still love this build. It's fantastic. It's beautiful so far. But I, you know, I have issues with stuff like that. It just annoys me that they couldn't fix their problem the right way. Instead, they put a Band-Aid on it. And you know, that decal is not going to be as durable if it's, as if it was painted. But anyways, uh, I digress. Here is the uh, left shoulder piece that we are building, and it looks absolutely fantastic. Just like the rest of the model looks. 
Uh, so, I mean, uh, all in all, I'm, I'm very happy with this model so far, but, you know, I, I can't not tell you if I see a problem uh, that I, I just think is ri ridiculous. I can't just not say something about it. So, anyways, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. Uh, I love making these videos. I love building these models. I think they're fantastic, and I just, I just really enjoy it. And I enjoy you guys watching Black and Red Crew. You guys are awesome. Hey, guys, I almost forgot to show you guys the keychain. Let me go ahead and get that opened up here for you. I haven't taken it out of the package yet. Here we go. Got a nice Autobots symbol keychain there. Here we go. See if I can polish it up a little. Make it look really blingy. Here we go. It's pretty nice. You know, for a little uh, included freebie. It's pretty nice. There we go. That's a little bit better. All right. Just wanted to show you guys that. That's what the keychain looks like that it comes included with it. It's uh, all metal. I generally don't carry keychains like that. I only have one that has one of those, um, I forget what it's called. It's uh, it constantly glows no matter what a uh, little thing there. So I can just see it if it's sitting in a dark spot. I know it's there. So that's the only thing I really carry on my keychain, but I will keep this. I have a collection of keychains, so I will put this in my collection of keychains. All right. Just wanted to make sure I showed you guys that. So if you guys are enjoying these videos, make sure you hit the thumbs up and stroll on over and smack that subscribe button. It helps the channel out immensely. And I'll see you next time. I'm Chewy Solo, and this is Black and Red Bills. See you. Woo! Now that is a whole lot of fun right there.